Most production drafting will require us to create formal plots. These plots will typically include a title block that contains our company logo, client information, scale information, drawing title, and other things. To create our formal plots, we're going to use what's known as a layout. In this session, we'll set up our first layout and choose a paper size. On my screen, I've got a mechanical example. Let's say I would like to plot this drawing using our company title block. To do that, I'm going to set up a layout. If we look in the lower left-hand corner, we can see that this drawing contains two layouts. A layout is a virtual piece of paper that we can use to plot our drawing. I'm going to select layout one and we'll take a look. Notice we can see a sheet of paper. Note that this paper also contains a rectangle inside of which we can see our part. Now this rectangle is called a viewport and we're going to talk about viewports later. So since I've selected this, I'm going to hit the delete key on my keyboard to erase it. Now the paper that we see on screen is a representation of what our plot is going to look like when it comes out of the printer. Notice I have a dashed line around the outside. This represents my printable margin. Anything that falls outside this boundary won't print. It's important to note that the shape of this paper and the shape of the boundary will change depending on the printer and the paper size that I select. Let's select a piece of paper for our plot. To do that, I'm going to right click on the layout tab and select page setup manager. Then I'll come over and click modify and notice that the page setup manager looks strangely similar to the plot dialog box. That's because we're essentially setting up our plot ahead of time. You see, a layout is merely a visual representation of our plot settings. I'm going to start out by choosing a printer. Let's click the name flyout. And since I've got Adobe Acrobat installed on my machine, I'm going to select the Adobe PDF printer. You can select any printer that's installed on your machine that will support a letter size sheet. Now, if you don't have a printer that you can use to print your drawings, select DWF 6E plot. This is a virtual printer that you can use to finish the tutorials. Let's come down and look at paper size. This is set to letter, so this is fine. For plot area, what do I want to plot? I want to plot the layout. This is also good. Finally, let's take a look at scale. Notice this is set to one to one. You know, if we plot using layouts, our scale will always be set at one to one because the layout is a true size environment. Our paper is measured in inches and we want to plot that paper at a one to one scale. Since I am finished with my settings, I'll click OK and then we'll click close. Layouts are essentially a visual display of saved plot settings. The piece of paper we see on screen is a real life representation of our paper as it'll come out of the printer. In our next session, we'll add a title block to our new layout.